Hey everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and today we're going to go over how to get diamond rocket launchers in Call of Duty Cold War. Uh, these are the worst weapons to use. I'm going to include the thumper in this because I count it as a launcher. This is going to take a while. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So all the launchers are pretty different. We're going to go over each one. The Sigma is the easiest one to get. You will have absolutely no problems getting the Sigma Gold except for for killing people because all of the rocket launchers take three shots to kill people. So how do you get kills with them, right? I mean, obviously you're gonna shoot down vehicles. What I would do with the Sigma is shoot down, do all your vehicle challenges, right? Just hold it. And once it's level 30, go get your kills because you're not gonna wanna deal with them. Set up your class to kill people. You're gonna have the Sigma. Have some sort of assault rifle that you're trying to level up because you're going to be playing hardcore nuketown or hardcore. I would recommend just playing normal hardcore because everyone in hardcore nuketown knows to use flak jacket. That's going to be your worst enemy. Okay, you're going to want to you're going to want to take flak jacket perk itself and kill it and burn it with fire. So how do you get the double kill? Just try to punch people. That is the easiest way to do it. Throw down a smoke. Try to punch two people fast rocket someone, punch someone. You're not gonna get a lot of double rocket kills because the reload on the Sigma is trash. Now, the two kill streak, you would think that punching people counts. It does not count, I have found out. So the two kill streak, you're gonna get a couple of them if you can take down uh, vehicles and you know get two vehicle kills and also kill the drivers. So you're gonna have a couple of these by the time you're actually trying to kill people. But to get those, just camp on Nuketown, camp in like the windows, Go for, going for your streaks, you wanna camp as much as possible and go for the lowest risk kills. Now, when I was getting the challenge done, there was a bug where the rockets, you only needed to get two, like the streak says, get a two, two kill streak. You could do it with two rockets or you could do three melees and it counted as a two kill streak. So if you are fine punching people and staying alive, Go for punches, go for melees. Three melees is easier than two rockets for me. So that's the route that I went. So that is the Sigma. And that is exactly how you will get kills for your Thumper. You know, your streaks for your Thumper. And uh, your kills for your RPG. Now we're going to go over the RPG. Because god damn this... Th it... No. So the RPG... Aerial score streaks. How the hell are you going to take out aerial score streaks with the RPG? They, you don't. Basically, what you do, go into Nuketown and you know dig around until they start shoving UAVs, and literally just point your RPG at the sky and keep shooting. It's going to go off every single fucking which way. Just keep shooting, and eventually, Lady Luck's going to smile on you, and the RPG is going to be like shh, shh, and spin around and land in, in a UAV and you're gonna have to do that 25 times. If you're on Nuketown, uh, you can shoot down care package helicopters. They're one shot kills with the RPG. I would, if you hear care package incoming, ADS at the sky and wait till the care package chopper starts to break and then shoot it. Attack helicopters as well. You can shoot down with the RPG. So that's gonna suck. The three vehicle streak is gonna suck even more. Honestly, the three vehicle streak, <clears throat> make sure engineer is on because if you have an engineer on, you can see vehicles like they're red outlines. This is exactly how you're gonna do it with the thumper too. Put on a Barrett 50 cal that has the cavalry lancer and a nine round magazine, okay? Because first of all, you can two shot UAVs with a sniper with a cavalry lancer, which is always a good plus, but you're gonna play dirty bomb or combined arms and you are gonna spend the entire game shooting vehicles that is your only goal you're gonna play combined arms vote crossroad don't vote cartel people say oh yeah cartel is most like no don't vote cartel vote in armada crossroads if no one's spawning on vehicles take your rpgs try to start shoot uavs down if there's a tank instead of shooting two rpgs at it because what's gonna happen is you can shoot two RPGs or two thumpers at it and it's got a little bit of health left. Pump it full of sniper rounds. Make sure there's a suppressor on your sniper too. Doesn't affect the damage at all. Pump it full of sniper rifle rounds until it's one shot away and destroy it. Now, 
note when you destroy vehicles there's a little grace period to where if you destroy the vehicle it counts as what a breakdown metal so if someone gets out still shoot at it because it might count as a destruction you need to do that for 10 games three streaks 10 games right a three streak 10 game when you do it if you shoot the driver of a vehicle so let's say they're on a snowmobile and you blow up the driver but the vehicle doesn't get destroyed it does not count so aim for the vehicle don't aim for the person this took me this challenge made me spend about eight hours on the rpg and eight hours on the thumper if you're on armada make sure you're gonna spend all your time in the water first of all and armada is easier because you can shoot the boats you know under the water they can't find you if you shoot an rpg or a thump around underwater it goes super slow so make sure you're all the way above water before you start trying to take out vehicles for your vehicle streaks and then just keep going and you will eventually get it but you will spend entire games doing nothing but shooting vehicles and only two vehicles will pop up and it sucks but it's the challenge they added the last bit we're going to go over with the launch launchers is the thumper cover kills and and long shots why this is in the game i don't know thumper kills play either core nuketown or hardcore nuketown there's a ton of spots you can hit long shots look up guides before you even touch the thumper and most of the time uh a long shot for me also counted as a cover kill i usually get one to two per game there was one time i was on the pines and a bunch of people kept camping this one corner and so i got like six or seven in a game that was pretty sweet it took me a long time to get these when you shoot the thumper also a lot of people don't know this when you shoot the thumper let's say i'm 40 meters away from, i think it's the lmg long shot range so it's even longer right it's 35 meters let's say i'm 40 meters away from a target i shoot my thumper and then i shot my thumper but by the time it lands i'm only 20 meters away it's not going to count as a long shot. So when you start shooting thumper rounds, make sure you're far enough back. Fun fact, if you aim straight up in the air and shoot the thumper and you stay still, if it kills someone, it counts as a long shot. So there's a ton of tips. There's a ton of better YouTube tips than what I can say. Just go. It's, it's, it's going to make you not want to play this game. Using the rocket launchers... Getting them gold is going to make you not want to get this challenge done. Honestly, I'd get it done first. I would literally get these done first because they are the worst. Uh, carry an assault rifle around because you're going to need to use it. You'll level up your assault rifles passively a little bit that way. But use as many double XP tokens as you have on these guns. Get the rocket launchers done. That's all I got to say, man. It sucks. Good luck. <laughs> but I'm the Casual Gamer. That's how I got diamond rocket launchers. Let me know how you do. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.